120 Years of Oz, Decade by Decade, in One Minute. Hi, I'm Oz historian John Fricke. Throughout the 1970s, MGM's Wizard of Oz film continued to enchant TV audiences in America every single year, and it began to be shown on international television as well. As a result, there was more Oz product out there than ever before, and collectors and children were especially entranced by the Mego Wizard of Oz dolls and play sets. These recreated the MGM characters and even some of their movie backdrops. Now, speaking of movies, there was a kitty matinee feature film in the 70s called The Wonderful Land of Oz, and it irritated audiences everywhere. There was a full-length feature cartoon, Journey Back to Oz, that took 10 years to complete, and even its all-star cast of voices couldn't save it. But the 1970s were dramatically lit when The Wiz opened on Broadway. Its pop rock score, its all African American cast made a triumph of this new retelling of Baum's classic story. The show played on Broadway and on tour for four years. The subsequent film was not a hit, but stage productions of The Wiz continue to ease on down the road to this day. Please join us again next month for another Aussie Decade in a Minute with John Fricke.